Today's video is going to be very shady. Get it? Shading? Shading. We're talking about shading today. How to art. Hey Doodlebugs, it's Mary. Let's talk about shading with pencil because shading can add so much to your drawings. You can create contrast, you can make characters pop and things recede. You can have things look like they're far away or up close. You can create textures, all sorts of fun stuff. And there's a handful of different ways you can shade with pencil. Now my last video was all about drawing supplies, and different kinds of pencils and papers. So for now I'm gonna use an HB pencil, but you can use whatever you feel comfortable with. I don't recommend mechanical mechanical pencils for this part, but uh, if that's all you got, if you're trapped in a hundred foot well and all you have is a mechanical pencil and a piece of parchment paper made from the flesh of somebody who fell down there years before you did, go for it. So the most basic part about shading with pencil is pressure. Light pressure gives you light lines, hard pressure gives you dark lines. Now to get better at shading, you gotta practice controlling that pressure. You can do this by making a value scale or a shady bar. I prefer shady bar. To make a value scale, draw a long rectangle and divide it into about five or six different boxes. Pick one end to be your light end and one end to be your dark end. The box farthest to the light end is gonna be the lightest value that you can achieve, which just so happens to be the tone of your paper. Got it, that box is done. Now the box farthest to the dark end is gonna be the darkest tone that you can achieve. Shade that in. This isn't coloring in the lines, so if it's a little sloppy, that's okay. Put a lot of pressure to the paper without breaking your pencil or tearing the paper and make the darkest value that you possibly can. You might have to take a couple passes at it. So you got your lightest end and your darkest end. Next, you're gonna fill in the next boxes so that it looks like a bar going from light to dark. One tip I recommend is start by shading in the second lightest box and shade in all the middle boxes with that. Then move to the third lightest tone and make it a little bit darker and so on and so on until you have a nice even gradient. Practicing this value scale is a great way of getting used to shading and what kinds of pressure you need. You can also try blending the shades together nice and smoothly. It's something to work on when you're bored. Hatching, it's not just for dragons. Hatching is using a bunch of little lines or big lines to create a value. Try making a value scale using a hatching technique. Draw a long rectangle, divide it into little boxes and hatch away. Now in hatching, yes, pressure does matter, but also the distance of the lines. Wider space lines will create lighter values where closer spaced lines will create darker values. Also think about the length of your lines. Are they short? Are they long? Cross hatching is pretty much like hatching, but you have a second line running perpendicular to your first one. So you're doing little crisscrosses. Hatching and cross hatching is great for making a textured look or if you only have a pen and you want to do a little shading. Stipple rhymes with nipple like the glacier in British Columbia. Learning. Stippling is a shading technique where you use dots, circles, or pixels to create a value. Try making a shady bar with stippling. Again, keep in mind the distance of your dots as well as the size of them. This is a very meticulous way to shade, but it looks really cool when you're finished. You look smudging today, darling. Smudging is an effect created when something brushes the graphite and causes it to smear across the paper. To smudge, you can use a finger. You can also use a smudge stick. Now I noticed that smudging is a technique that a lot of young and beginning artists tend to veer toward. I totally understand. It's easy, it's got a nice pleasing look, almost like a smooth Photoshop finish, but I highly recommend try shading with all of the techniques I mentioned in this video. Trust me. Make a value scale shading with just plain old pressure. Make one with hatching. Make one with cross hatching. Make one with stipple. Make one with a pattern that you've made up. And make one with smudging, why not? Ultimately, it's about learning how to control these things flopping out of your torso and make a conscious decision and then execute it onto the page. Play around, practice, get familiar. I hope that was helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can ask away in the comments below. I will do my best to help you out and to answer, and I'm sure other people out there who make art will also help you out. If there's anything in particular you want to learn to draw or paint, please leave a comment below, or you can tweet me at Mary Doodles. And yes, watercolor paintings are on the list. We're gonna finish up with some basic drawing pencil stuff, and then we'll move on to paint. Coming up next, I got a video 
video on light and light sources. And previously I talked about doodling and sketching as well as drawing supplies. So you can go check those videos out if you miss those and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the new ones and you can follow me on all the social medias. Thank you very much for watching. Did I get far? I didn't get far. A nice boy.